Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Nefarious. And this is basically a two-character movie. One of the characters is a psychiatrist or psychologist played by Jordan Belfry. And then there is a criminal convict in a penitentiary awaiting a determination of the death penalty. He is played by Sean Patrick Flannery. And the psychiatrist is there to determine if the man is sane and competent to be executed. And, you know, if he determines that he is sane, he'll be executed. If he determines that he is not sane, then he will not be executed. And the twist is, the man says that he is possessed by a demon. And the demon speaks to the psychiatrist and tells him about how he's got control of, the, of this person who does his bidding. And, of course, the whole point of the film is, is the demon real or is the convicted murderer faking, you know, in order to save his life. But it's, like I said, it's basically two characters. They, they do bring some other characters in, you know, minimal roles, and one of which is uh, a police detective played by Celio Savante, who is a favorite actor of mine. He's always good in everything he does. But I like the movie. It's talky. It's, you know, it's like one location, you know, the, the cell or interview room where all of this takes place. But the screenplay and the especially the performance by Sean Patrick Flannery, is so gripping that you are really tied into this movie. It, it really takes a hold of you and won't let go. And you, you're not knowing where it's going to go, how it's going to end up. You keep, you know, it's, it's one of those movies that's precipitous. You feel like you're on the edge of something and it's going to push you over into some unknown world. But I thought it was good. It's rated R for profanity and violence. I scored it 6 out of 10. It's above average. Now, talky, yes, but well acted. The script is good. And it just, it just kept me enthralled all the way through. So, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film Nefarious.